Hello everybody and welcome back to I guess you could say another episode of Jurassic World Alive. Well here in this video we will be reviewing the new release notes of update 2.0. So so as you know some people already know what what's new and the changes there are a lot of changes like let me tell you there are a lot of changes and new there are new creatures coming to the game and there's also a video that i will be showing you so yeah let's go ahead onto the video so yeah this is the video and here we have like so it seems to be if we pause it it seems to be mortem rex which is an apex which is a new rarity so by the looks of it you can dart it possibly so you either dart it or when you launch it it brings you to raid battle and then you get an incubator which gives you more Tumrex DNA we're not sure yet but it's it's one of those two so it says boss dinosaurs are on the way and if we pause it here you can see that you can create more Tumrex and at level 26 it seems to have 4,500 health and 2,000 attack. That is a lot of attack. Like, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's a lot of attack and it has 40% crit chance. It's really good. So, we also have this. It's a new raid of battle system, which is like create or join a new, like create or join a team with anyone in the world. And also, I apologize for that noise in the background. It's really annoying. I'll see if I can probably remove it. All right, so it seems like uh, you can create a team, whether it's public or private. So I think that public is like anyone can join who's in your alliance and um, in alliance and friends. But I think that for for private you can invite specific friends or alliance mates so yeah that, at least that's what i think so here we have um yeah so you can invite like your friend or something you can choose your creature like that and then here comes the boss so just like that now here you know this is how it's going to look like it looks actually it looks pretty cool and kind of looks like Pokemon Go in a way, but not Pokemon Go, like Pokemon. There are some Pokemon games that are like this. And yeah, so you can see your your friends or allies, uh, what they're going for, like their moves that they're going for. So then you can choose what to go for. And there's some moves that are like, like, you know, they, uh, So like, yeah, and a lot of new exciting things coming. So here we have this tail whip. It's, I think that's what it's called. Obviously you're not gonna do that much damage. There, that's just them showing. And you get different rewards, like different incubators. And yeah, that would be all. So, so boss raids coming on July 21st, 2020 which is from now, three days, three days left until the big update, so we will be waiting for that. And there are a lot of new dinosaur changes, so we will be taking a look at that. So yeah, here we are at the, the patch notes. So it says, the wait is finally over. As you may guess, this highly anticipated update introduces a new and exciting co cooperative battle mode. Raids. That's not all. We are also introducing new abilities, new icons, new creatures, and overall, a new Jurassic World Alive experience. Are you ready to face challenging raid bosses with your friends and alliance mates? Read on for more details. And yeah, 
if you can hear it, there's a uh, noise in the background. But please, ignore that. So anyways, so what's new in update 2.0? Well, we have a creature exclusivity. We have raids, uh, locating raid bosses, raids during battle, daily mission adjustments, dynamic text, attack count, and so we have like circumstance uh, based random and area of effect targeting, iconography, or I don't know how to pronounce that actually, then healing based on attack value, resistances, taunt, new stat reset, new abilities, ability updates, game mechanic update, creature updates, new creatures and bug fixes and unknown and not I mean and known issues. Yeah, that one. So for creature exclusivity, there are some creatures that are now going to be exclusive. So some changes have been made to the creature distri distribution. Certain creatures will only be available through exclusive events and battles rather than through standard gameplay. So exclusive events will include seasonal PvP, tournaments and alliance championships, and uh, thematic events. So like examples of thematic events is like event supply drops, strike events, special, special geolocation spawns, daily rewards, alliance missions, and special incubators. So yeah, a few creatures or these creatures will be become available on, only during special events. So, we have Dilophosaurus, Dracorex, Kelican, Quetzalcoatlus, Tenontosaurus, Werhusaurus, Brachiosaurus, and Ruli Rhinoceros. So, these are going to be now exclusive, as they will only be able to get during exclusive events. Now, Raids Overview. So this is what we have here, the Raids Overview. We have like, so as you can see, you can pick your move, you see your friend's move, and the boss has like a, a certain amount of health. So like all of, all, all of you, all four of you or more, I don't know, I think it's all four, have to do, have to deal a certain amount of damage to take out the boss. And I think there's like, there's like first boss and there's, there's like a second one, but I'm not sure. And you have 20 turns. So after those 20 turns, I think you just lose. So, and yeah, you, you know, there's like group healing, there's like group attack increase, there's like group speed increase. It will like increase your whole teams, like, like uh, stats so in order to participate in these raid battles you have to complete chapter 5 in the campaign mode so if you haven't done so yet please go do that if you can at least because some people can't but if you can then I would suggest doing so so yeah so locating raid bosses here in the map, just like a normal dinosaur or creature, will spawn a boss. When you click on it, you can start a raid. So yeah, they will be roaming freely in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, and you can locate them directly from your map. And yeah, and scheduling and boss list. So the four bosses available in 2.0 will only appear on the map. Monday through Thursday. This allows players to concentrate on tournaments Friday and Sunday. So Monday we have Sinos Sinoceratops Prime, which is a Sinoceratops boss. Tuesday we have Mammotherium Prime. Wednesday we have Mortem Rex. And then Thursday we have Smilonemis Prime. So we have four bosses, and each time we can get different amounts of DNA in order to unlock them. 
See, so this is the lobby. You can either choose private or public. And yeah, here you have it. It seems like you can, uh, yeah, so it shows whether like the your friend or alliance member is like selecting a creature or is ready, you know. And just like that. So once you create a lobby, you are the administrator of that lobby. So you can invite friends and alliance mates. So we have level and boost tab. I don't really understand this and I'm probably not going to read it because it's a lot. So, so there's a new creature rarity which is called Apex. So it goes like above unique. So I assume it would be stronger. DNA collection. So these, these all give the appropriate ingredient DNA to help build a player, a player viable version of each boss. All right, so, so during battle, Okay, so I'm not gonna read all this. Let's let's skip to the to the dinosaurs because there are some new things coming. Creature updates. So if we see here, there's some um, creatures that have been like nerfed or buffed, either one. No no no, hold on. Where are they? Ability updates. So these are the new abilities. They're like this is regeneration, regenerate and run. Now heals for 1.5 times of the creature's attack attribute instead of 50% max HP. So I think it's like depending on the creature's attack. And then we have this. Oh no. Yes, yeah, so we have that. Adrenaline plus adrenaline surge, dig in and stop and heal. Now heals for one times of, uh, one times of the creature's attack attribute instead of 25% max HP. It's similar. Mutual Fury is now a little bit different because now when you go for Mutual Fury, it will all the creatures on the controlling player's team get the speed and damage buffs for two turns all opponents get the damage buff for one turn so use this wisely you should use that wisely so now instant distraction now instead of 90 percent like negative 90 percent attack it is now negative 100 percent so now if you go for instant distraction it will distract your opponent and it will do zero damage unless it cleanses or it's immune or it like goes for fer ferocity or ferocious and devastation i'm guessing it still does three times damage but also taunts for one turn i'm guessing taunt is like a stun although i'm not really sure so So there's like new creatures, right? And I think this is where we go to see the creatures. Yeah, this is it. So we have uh, a lot of changes to certain creatures because now some got buffs while others got like nerves. For example, Ardentis Maxima. So its role is to reduce speed and change to taunt or tank. So a definite strike change to resilient strike and decelerating impact change to greater thagomizer defense shattering rampage change to taunt shattering rampage instant invincibility change to instant invincibility taunt immunity is changed to none i'm assuming that lydia removed immunity so there is no there are no more dinosaurs that are immune what i think is now there are resistances 
which is like the chances of them not getting it or it not affecting them as much I'm not really sure but it, it's somewhere around there so I'm guessing it's like the downfall of the immune meta because like there there are no more creatures that are immune because you see immunity changed to none that's what I'm, I'm thinking I could be wrong though it could be like immunity has not changed but I think that immunity changed to none means that no more immune so if we see for example Indoraptor Gen 2, if we go to it, this is taking a while, hold on. Oh yeah, so Dracoceratops also had a little um, change, but this is Draco's, yeah, Dracoceratops, so it has a clear focus on its fierce aspect. It no longer heals itself. Minimal speed up strike change to fierce strike rampage rampage change to fierce impact regeneration change to cleansing impact and attack change to 1500 hp change to 4200 speed change to 115 so that's pretty good that's good like the stats are good the moves however they're they're okay and yeah also uh draco rex not draco rex draco ceratops got a hybrid it, it's a very fluffy uh little draco thing oh yeah entelamoth got a nerf as i was told because now it has group shattering impact it is no longer defense shattering rampage Early Dominus got a buff, like it's insane now. Strike and run, oh, yeah. my bad. Strike and run changed to distracting impact. Cloak changed to revenge cloak. Immunity changed to none, so I don't think it's no longer immune. And crit chance changed to forty percent. I think that uh, so revenge cloak is like. See, if you were to do revenge, then it would do three times damage, while the normal cloak only does two times damage. So plus the rampage, it's a it's a five times damage. That is a lot of damage. I'll tell you that that's a lot of damage. Early Caspix got a little bit of a change as well, and um, Gemini Titan got a, a nerf because it's no longer immune and has group invincibility has the Celering rampage changed to greater thagomizer nullifying strike changed to resilient strike i think it pretty much got a nerf Gryklin got a buff as i was told because it appears it has more i'm not sure about the stats though but i know that it's better now in a way gripolith is worse now because apparently i think it's not as great anymore indominus rex got it above because it now has revenge cloak and i think it has more attack now or or it got less attack no i think it got less attack because of the revenge cloak yeah so indoraptor so shields work against indoraptor gains access to on-demand distraction so class cunning change to fierce and cunning armor piercing strike change to cunning strike defense shattering rampage change to armor piercing rampage Immune to distraction, change to none. Immune, immune to stun, change to none. Because, so yeah, so it got a nerf because it was defense shot rampage and now it's armor piercing rampage. So now it's pretty much not that great anymore. Indoraptor Gen 2 got his defense shattering rampage removed. 
so it's now distracting impact which makes it pretty much useless because why do you need it you don't need it you don't need it so yeah that is like about like there's more there's a lot more i think stegoceratops got a buff got more attack i know that quetzalryan got a pretty op move there are some new creatures in the game if i remember there is this eagle like the hast eagle i don't know i think that's how you pronounce it and yeah i will be showing some pictures of a uh, new of the new updates some new creatures and moves so yeah i'll be showing you guys that and uh, so if you enjoyed this video guys because this is pretty much it there's no more and if you are excited for this update um please leave a like and uh subscribe if i didn't say that already i'm pretty sure i said that already but yeah subscribe and leave a like and also my next video will be my 50 subscriber special and i'm doing a q a so if you have any questions for me please go down to the description not description the comments below and you can comment down asking me a question a question that you want me to answer so yeah i'll leave you guys to that and until next time i'll see you later bye